What is going on YouTube? It is Cop Series 60 here with some really good info for you guys. Now, AMD, um, they did not leak this. They actually officially announced some uh, R9-290X benchmarks against NVIDIA's GeForce GTX 780. Now, I was going to do like an actual gameplay, but I thought that it would just make much more sense for you guys to actually read this yourself. So, this is pretty much 4K gaming. So, I think it's 38, 3860 by uh no 3840 by 2160 so 4k res against gtx 780 now you guys can just read this but let's just get straight to it so firstly i'm gonna preface this the games they're using they are amd evolved games so bioshock infinite and tomb raider but let's not forget that nvidia they do have their own um you know um, patches for them, obviously, the own drivers that came out a long time ago i'm not sure how amd would have did this but regardless these numbers look pretty legit, so let's get straight to it. Well, of course they're legit, but let's whatever. And let's let let's note here that look, um, th this is the R9 290X in quiet mode, and they have blurred out the actual, you know, I'm guessing normal mode performance. So I'm guessing this quiet mode is like low power, just less. It just uses less power, like a less powerful 290X, it's still the 290X, it's just got like a low power mode, maybe it's like underclocked or something like that, but whatever that is, regardless of what AMD have done with this quiet mode, it's still at 4K, gets a resolution of 44.25 frames per second, while Nvidia's GeForce 780 gets 37.67 frames per second. Now, um, this is on ultra settings and it looks like an anthropic filter is turned to zero, fuck, that, that was just like a slur session but anyway yeah that's it and then we've got tomb raider um 3860 by 20 3840 by 2160 god um 16 af trust fx off um they've got fx double a uh ultra shadows on blah high whatever who cares just let's get straight, straight to the numbers r 290 x in quiet mode i can't stress this enough this is quiet mode uh, 40.2 frames per second while Nvidia 780 gets 34.5 now guys look the difference between the 780 and the Titan is not that big and if this is AMD's uh, JP running in quiet mode can you just imagine what it actually runs full speed full pace even with an overclock I honestly I legit think that this card is gonna be better than a titan in most gaming situations maybe not like obviously in programs that utilize cuda or where six gigs of vram is like needed but with four gigs of vram i really don't know why you need six unless you're doing like like fucking four or five monitors and all that shit whatever um anyway let's get let's just keep going um these the exact same Oh, this is uh, Tom's hardware benchmarks actually. So with th th this is this AMD benchmarks and Tom's hardware benchmarks. So this is pretty good. This is at 4K as well. Ultra preset, 45 second custom benchmark. The R9 290X gets 30.6 frames per second um, in that uh, Tomb Raider benchmark, and in this Bioshock Infinite benchmark, the, um, very high preset. Uh, 290X gets 53.5, and the 780 gets 46.2. Um, I don't know how that works, like what's going on, if this is on quiet mode, underclocked, or what's going on, but I don't know. Um, and here we've got another benchmark, Bioshock Infinite 4K, um, blue 780 red is, um, thing. Um, what, what, ultra, oh, ultra plus DDOF, whatever that is. Oh, DDOF, I, w I was just reading this, just on Linus Tech Tips. I don't know, it's apparently some kind of filter that... Uh, apparently favors Nvidia. I don't know, but regardless if it does or doesn't, they pretty much neck and neck right there. But then when we turn go to medium quality, there's none of that DDOF. Then um, the 290X pulls ahead 63.8 or bit basically 64 frames per second, and uh, the 780 at 56.1 or pretty much 56. So right there, that's yeah, these some pretty good numbers. This it's just this performance mode that I'm I, that I want to find out about pretty much. I want to see full fledged GT um not GTX Radeon R9 290X. I want to see how that son of a bitch performs, boys. So um anyway, 
it appears that AMD is targeting the 780, not the Titan. However, it looks like the the 290X is going to be like Titan's competitor. I reckon, because it's going to be priced. I reckon it's going to be quite priced a lot more. While the 780 is going to be more uh, against the Radeon R9 290. Just to, so this it's going to be against the 290 against 780, if that makes sense. I I know I talk too fast, but pretty much that's how I think it's going to roll. So here I think MSI and um. Unleash this like gaming wear question mark or this shit. You know your 1080p performance get these cards, enthusiasts get these cards, and etc. etc. So pretty much the R9 290. That's the card. I reckon that's going to be one of the best bang for bang, best bang for buck, not bang for bang, best bang for buck cards probably ever released. Because apparently this thing is going to be pretty cheap. Not much, uh, uh, considerably, considerably less expensive than the 290X. So I want to see how that um, beast performs. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Comment down below what you think. This is courtesy of videocards.com. Uh, they're a good site. Um, so yeah, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Tell me what you think. And this quiet mode is pissing me off, AMD. I want to know the real numbers, boys. Thank you for watching. See ya.